Hi, my name is Willix, and this is episode three of Stoneblock. Today, I'm going to show you some of the stuff I got from uh, loot bags. I'm going to uh, make some integrated tunnels for some enchantment sorting. We're going to make some garden cloches, put them in a compact machine, and run off to the nether to get uh, some quartz chickens. So let's start off with some of the stuff. Uh, I put Obviously, I start, started putting all sorts of stuff in drawers here. And I've also got another set of drawers over here. And that's just for stuff from loot bags, not to deal with uh, regular mob drops. Well, that was a temporary thing for tests that I did. Let me get rid of that now. All right. And so I set up a lot of others for the trash. Now it's only got a few things going in there. And for the uh, the others, I filled up these things with stuff to be recycled. Now notice a lot of this stuff, it considers it like high end stuff. And so I am getting recycling through all that just from the mobs I've killed. I'm still ahead of the game with 300 bags stored because each uh, one of those legendaries 256. So every time I find one of those, this thing goes forever. So it's still doing its thing. Like the bag opener is still going full tilt. So some of the things that I uh, filtered out because you all need one of these things. For instance, inventory upgrade cake and an inventory crafting cake. Let's take a look at that. I now have a little button for crafting and another one for an extra inventory, like a bag type thing. Also, another bag that you get from that is the Ender Sack. The Ender Sack is a pretty good bag and it keeps its inventory on death as well. Other things we've got is we can teleport to world spawn. We're going to use that in a minute. Fire charms, air charms, sort of allows you to fly, kind of. What else did we... Uh... Oh, I've been using the ender just because it gives you more ender pearls when you kill those uh, friendermen or evolved endermen. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. Heart canisters and these things here. So the heart containers, watch my hearts down below. See how they're all red right now. As I start eating these, I start getting some orange hearts as, along with that. So I could eat 10 of them and I'll basically double my health when I eat all 10. All right, so then we can come over here and as we get something new, we do that. Actually, does not, yeah, one. There we go. Oh, and this thing, I forgot to put it on stack there, stack. And so now when I put these in there, boom, they are now recycled too. And I got more bags. What are these things? These soul vials with uh, shirkers. How do you pronounce that? Shuckler. So let's see what, let me show you what I've been doing with those. Home to, do we have any skeletons up here? Yeah, we do, we've got a skeleton. So we'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so see the skeleton over there. We press our button. Now we killed our, uh, but we really need to get beheading on something. I've already got uh, two of the uh, uh, drop of evils, but let's get on to our shirkers. We drop one down there, and whoop, he hit already. Notice I put. Uh, my roof is so low that he can't uh, send me up in the air. Boom, and I get a shirker pearl. And I already had two of these, so now I've got a third empty soul vial. Why do I care about those? Well, let me show you. 
let's go down and get rid of some of the stuff that I don't need right now and do we have I don't know there's none of them around right now but I can take these when an evolved Enderman shows up and I can click on him and then run him over here, stick him in there and kill him easily. Because they already killed me twice when I was trying to, uh, to get them. Which made me feel very foolish. So now on to the next part. We need to deal with all this enchanted stuff and these books. So let's do that now. For that, we've got, remember we did, we put the mineral sampling over here and we're getting lots of these crystallized mineral chunks. So we need a block of it. We take the block of that, put it with the logic programmer. We put it in again, we get a portable logic programmer that we can walk around with. Then we need some logic cable We need some variable cards, some item interfaces, input variable. I actually don't need these right now, but I'm making them anyways. And they go with this, and we get item importers, and output variable transformers. That's a regular piston instead of a sticky piston this time. We put that with that, and we get the item exporters, which we are going to use this time. Okay, now we come over here, and actually, we don't need to do that. Oh, uh, I made myself some cardboard boxes. These things are uh, really easy to make. I don't know if I talked about this on camera or not. They're just some of those wood chippings I made before. And you got yourself a cardboard box. So we're going to take our cardboard box, put it there. You can break it with our fist or whatever. And I guess that's a good spot for it. And we'll put it down there. We'll right, shift, right click it. And it kept all its inventory. And these are things that I thought I might keep for now, like Silk Touch, stuff along those lines. But now we're going to deal with a bunch of other stuff. And we'll use one of these for all the enchanted items and one for all the books. And we're gonna put exporter there and an exporter there. We're going to put one of those there. Now, to ma make a variable for to handle just enchanted items, we're going to put that in there. Now, if you paid attention on my dire wolf, I showed you how to do this already. And we're going to use the operator section of this. And we're looking for enchanted. So item enchanted. And it's an operator, as you can see, operator on our variable. So then if we come down here and we put our item enchanted variable in there. Oh, and I need to put logic cable on this as well. Whoops. Maybe because it's not. Uh, that might have been why I popped it. Item enchanted, and boom, it's already moved all of them over into this chest here. Next off, we want to deal with the books. So what we're going to do, open this up. This time we're going to deal with an item. So item, put a book in there, and then a variable card. And we've got enchanted book. See, it didn't count as an enchanted item before. Not sure why. 
And so then we're going to come up over here. And this time it's an item. Last time this was an operator and an operator. See, these are all wrong. This time we want an, something that's an item. So it's this one here, right? Now, notice that none of the books are coming over. But if, let's say, we put this book in here, it would go over. So it's book specific at this point. We don't want that. We want it to catch all the books. So we come over here and we click on this little button there. And see down near the bottom it says check NBT. That's what we're looking for. It says true now. We need to make it false. And it sucked all the books out. And I still need to deal with these sometime and I'll figure out what I'm doing with them later. But that's how we're doing it. Now, if I had um, a whole pile of bag openers going full tilt, I would probably just feed it all directly into the loot recycler because it'd be too much of the stuff to deal with. But for now, I'd like to like search through, find any enchanted books that I like, keep them, and deal with it that way. Later on, I'll have it all go straight to the recycler. All right. Next up, let's make some cloches. I've got a cow over there that is giving me, um, actually I've got, I've been getting a lot of spawns here, by the way. I had, uh, this is double or triple the size it was last episode. Uh, what is it? It's about 25 by 40 now, I think. And I've been getting lots of spawns. See all these nuts, they each have something in them. So I have uh, all these extra fluid cows that I'm not bothering with right now. Then I've got uh, all the regular, uh, or all the special chickens you can get in this, like the flint, the sand, the roosters, the logs. Um, then I've got a bunch of uh, sheep, a bunch of pigs, energetic sheep, a bunch of chickens, a bunch of cows, some llamas, some wolves, and I've milked a bunch of stuff. I haven't started dealing with it in drums or anything yet. I have plenty of uh, uh, buckets that are coming out of that, and I got lots of them. All right, so I, one of the cows is doing uh, creosote, so I didn't need to make my Coke oven. And that's how you would make it. I don't need it right now. I already made some. We'll take that. Whoops. Put it in here. And we'll make our engineer's workbench. Now we need a hammer. I'm running out of room here. Hold on a sec. Let's get rid of some stuff that I don't need for this part of the build. Okay. So we take our hammer and we need 40, we're making 12 of these uh, cloches. Still gonna need that. Come over here and we'll put those in there. And that gives us our iron mechanical components. This is the blueprint that does the uh, Iron mechanical components on the vacuum tubes. Well, the iron mechanical components have been cheaper if I'd done it there. I should double check that. And to do this, I've got to make these first, right? That gives us our copper wire. going to need these things and plate. I should have kept them all together so I remember what goes where. That, that go together. Let's just put it there for now. I don't doubt I'm going to keep it there. 
Now if I want to do iron mechanical components, I would have taken two iron plates, one copper ingot. So yes, it would have been cheaper. I should have done it that way. Oh well. I'll learn for next time, I guess. Does it look like that? Yes. I remembered it. Yay. Okay. Put those there. Those there. That's more treated wood. And we've got our garden cloche. Cloche? Cloche? However it's pronounced. Now, these are batteries from Silic. They can hold up to a million, and they're cheap as hell. Like, you know, nine redstone, and you got one. We're going to need one of those. And cloches work with leadstone flux ducts, so that's what we're going to be using. Doesn't work with a lot of other energy cables. Yes, we're done on that part of it. So now, we're going to put all this in a compact machine. To uh, do the compact machine stuff, we're first off going to book there, make our personal shrinking device. Put the personal shrinking device in there. We get miniaturization field projectors. And we get back our personal shrinking device. I'm going to need a couple of elevators for this. I want some uh, wooden stairs and some Ethereum seeds. Okay, now I'm filled up my inventory again. What don't I need right now? I don't need. Good grief, I need almost all of this. I don't need my nuts right now. And I'm going to want this thing. Did I want something else out of there? Don't remember. Okay, so this is my little setup for where. Oh, I got a new cow. Water. What a useless cow. <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do is, oh, I know what I, what I was getting out of there, and I forgot it. This air charm. And so we take our, pers our thingies, and we drop them down like that. The air charm... What the hell's wrong now? I don't know why it decided to fail like that. I hadn't seen do, it do that before. There we go, and we got our projection field all set up. Uh, I guess I should eat since I am... I took some damage there. I'm liable to take some damage in, again in a sec. What we need on our bar is that and redstone. The cows are getting my way. So we step out. We're out of the field. See, we're out of the field. That's an iron block with redstone on it. Toss that in there. And we don't have to wait for it to finish. We can do it again. Cows all came over to see what I was doing. We're making the walls for our thing. Oh, I'm full. Figures. Can I place that anyways? Yes.
next step, we need to start placing these things down. Oh, I already had it. Okay. And we put a ring around like this. It's a 5x5 five five that it whoops. And temporarily, I'm going to stick one there. And then I'm going to take my emerald, put it up there. And now we can break this block. doesn't need to be there. And take our wand again. Uh, that's three. Whoop, why did it not make it over there? So this is where a roof's going to go. And then fill in our roof. There. Now we're going to need... I don't have an ender pearl with me. What do I do with my ender pearl? Oh, I put it away. Whoops, wrong button. I don't need the redstone on me anymore. I'll fire an ender pearl into it. And that's going to take it half a sec to uh, to make it. The reason that I'm doing this and putting the clashes in there is I'm trying to do as much of my automation as I can inside these things so that it causes less lag for me when I'm outside of them. Uh, if there's no arguments, I'm probably going to make another one of these off camera and put my um, smel build a smeltery inside it. That's time consuming and I don't think that's very interesting for you. You've seen that uh, lots of times before. All right. Oh, we got some Endermen up there, so I can show you how I deal with them. So we come over here. Oh, I can't because I'm full again. Oh, I don't need that on me right now. So then we take Enderman, we stick him in there. I should actually have used that other sword, the uh, the end, because that gives me uh, what do you call it? A better chance of Ender pearls. our ender pearls there okay and we're not going to need the spares for that and anything else we don't need we don't need chicken manure and you can go in there okay so now to place this thing we're going to I think I'll do a row of them right like that Again, let's get rid of extras. So you take out your personal shrinking device, click on it like that, and in we go. And that is the center spot. So we're going to put down our elevator right there. Oh, I know what I want. Let's light up this room. Where is the center of the room? I'm 
hope that's it. If not, I'll move it later. Okay, so we've got that in place. We're going to take our stairs, wrap them around it. Then three up from the floor, we're going to put in one, two, three. Yeah, that's right. This is where we're going to put our floor in. And then um, it's a wand. Okay, and then we need to poke a hole in the one above it. That's the correct spot. Put that in there. Boom, we can come up here. Now we want to put a new spawn point, so we point at the ground, shift, right click, and that's our new entry point. We'll be up here now. Now let's start this off, I guess, over here. And this is where the water for our cloches will go. Okay, um, I'm going to need that for just a sec, just so I have something to place my sink against. You don't need to be there anymore. Then we're going to take our fluid extraction, put one there. Then we're going to take the fluid piping or cable and those work just fine for cautious. I'm deliberately trying out these things as much as I can. All right, um, next up, let's play some cautious. To get these pointing the correct direction, we're going to come around here because we want them to be outputting to the back. See, that's the output. Whoops. We'll probably even have more than 12. But this is just to get us started. So then back here, which I should have started at the other end, but that's okay. We want the item extraction cables. Now, these things work for garden cloches. A lot of other cables don't. It has to be a cable with an inventory, so ducks won't work. Um, Ender I.O. item conduits won't work. It has to have an inventory. If you remember correctly, these have an inventory. We saw that last episode when I showed how it was getting caught in its internal inventory and not moving through. And we're going to need a cable to go over the corner. Whoops. And then we'll go back to these again. Mm. 
Now, on, in my test, I attempted to run a cable out like this and here. That doesn't work. Why? Do you remember? Last episode, I said if this came around in a U shape, it wasn't going to work. So instead, we're going to run it down here. Out to, actually, I'll take it out one further. Oh, I just had barely enough. Okay, and we're going to put down our storage crate. There. All right, so now power. And that's why I've still got this thing going. Let's do conduit. Yeah, I've got to shift. Oops. There we go, and then somewhere up here we're going to stick our battery. And we're going to use these guys that do 120 R 8 RF per tick each for basically no cost. Um, I have to shift when I place these, so... We'll stick five of them on there. Not that we need that many right now, but I got like lots of those things. Okay, so, oh, I haven't put anything in them, so they're not doing anything yet. Let's put a dirt in there, and one of these, and a stack of bone meal. And so this sucker is off to the races, doing his thing. We'll do that again. We only had enough Inferium to do this for three of them to start. Oh, and bone meal. The rest of these I will do just as basic uh, seeds for now. And then once I get enough Inferium, I was, it's not coming through yet. Oh, because you're not getting energy. I forgot to do something. Remember I talked about this? Down, we've got, it's gotta be the down one. You gotta click on that and that makes that an energy output. And now they're getting energy. Now they can start doing their thing. I will set the rest of these up for wheat right away and then switch them over fairly quickly to uh, the other stuff as we get more Inferium. But just so when I show up with lots of Inferium, lots of wheat, lots of seeds next episode, you'll know where I got it all. I probably should have used the whatchamacallit to get out, but I think it's all right getting out. Just don't go in from some other, some other method. All right, so that covers off... Oh, if you don't want this to cause lag when you're not using it. Slap a one of those on and click it and that'll turn it off. Then when you want to use it, you turn it on again. Okay, so now we're going to go off to the nether. Let's get clear out some more stuff from my inventory that I don't need right now. Keep that on me. Actually, I guess I don't need those right now. What else do I need on me? Let's grab our fire charm, our teleport to world spawn. What else do I want? Let's put food on our bar. That I don't need on me. I'm not going to bother with the shield. 
I think that's... Uh, I'm forgetting something. I know I'm forgetting something. Oh, well. Oh, I know. Yes, I know what I'm forgetting. Of course, I need to make a ender portal. So, ooh, remember when I said, since this is world spawn, 24 in all directions, mobs can't spawn? Not true. This is not world spawn. This is minus 1,000, minus 1,000. World spawn is over here. So as you can see, this is not world spawn. Let's grab another one of these guys. I will light up this room. And then we'll make a spot to stick our portal. It needs to be one bigger than that. Okay. And the reason I'm putting it out here is so that I don't have to listen to this stupid thing. And we'll light her up. I'm not going to need you now. I'm not going to need you now. Oh, I want to put my mining backpack in my inventory. And I'll we'll get out the diamond sword as well. Okay. Off to the nether we go. Now, first thing I'm going to do is make a home three. Whoops. Set home three. So now we can get back here without using the portal. Now, I'm not going to spend a whole pile of time hitting ores. Um, keep in mind that... Uh, I put I fortified this with obsidian, like an obsidian sharpening kit, so I can break the ores. But let's go. What I'm looking for is chickens. So I want you to see, and I'm not going to cut away because I want you to see how long or how short a time it takes me to find my chickens. And I'll come back here some other time to do the. Uh, what, what you might call it, the uh, get my cobalt and ardite and stuff. I think I got to give it, no matter how fast I move around, it's going to take it a minute for the chickens to spawn. And you see how slow this uh, this thing is? It's not like an angel ring or something. What are you? You're a chicken. Oh, hope I got my nuts on me. Yes, I do. You're the soul sand chicken. We'll grab a couple of them. Give me a break. But it's really the nether. Feels odd passing uh, cobalt and not mining it. It's really against my nature. More soul chickens. 
more soul chickens. I want nether quartz chickens. Oh, what are you? You, you look like nether quartz chickens. Why can't I get you? There we go. Okay, that's what I came here to do. Off we go to home. No, oh, again, wrong key. I gotta quit moving my keys around. Okay, so that pretty much covers it for what I wanted to do this episode. Speaking of next episode, next episode I plan on doing chickens. The episode after that, mystical crops. So for the chicken spot, I've never worked with it before. Whoop. So there are, oh, there's other things. Um, and it's not showing up by d typing that in. What is it, roost or something? What is it, a nest? Okay, so I do know about a few things. I know about the egg nest, and if you stick a, um, a redstone lamp over that, you can hatch eggs quicker that way. I do know about the nesting pens, and you can actually put uh, two nesting pens side by side, and the two chickens in it will uh, breed up that way, as well as feeding them um, uh, seeds and having them breed like that. But I'm interested in what you have for hints on doing the chickens. I know that if I get uh, my base chickens up to 10, 10, 10, then when I go to create, breed new chickens, they'll all be 10, 10, 10. Or for that matter, I could make something like a smart chicken, which is you throw a book at a chicken. And then you get a, uh, and get it up to 10, 10, 10. You put it beside a, uh, another nesting pen and because no chicken can breed with it they will go up in level without creating something new anyways i know some of the basics like that but i know there's a lot of other hints to uh, to do for uh, chickens let me know in the comments anything special that you think i should talk about in the episode but that's it for this episode i hope you enjoyed it go out there and have some fun thanks